Jess, have you ever seen paintings by Pablo Picasso, Vincent Van Gogh, or even Bob Ross and wonder how they did that? Well, today we're going to teach you about the different techniques, the lines, the shapes, the colors, and what kind of brushes you can use. We're going to be focusing on three main brushes, which is going to be the flat brush, the round brush, and the fan brush. So with each brush, you just need to know what the point of each of them are. With the flat brush, the flat brush is gonna fill larger areas and it's gonna be more easy to fill everything in. With a round brush, it's gonna be skinny and if you press down, you can get thicker lines and these are easier for you to use details. And then lastly, our fan brush is for more textures or if you want little happy trees. When using brushes, you also need to know the techniques of using brushes. So as you can see, there's a metal band here. When you grab a brush, just grab it like a regular pencil. You have more control, but if I were to hold it here at the end, I don't have that much control and I can't do any details, it'll be harder. When cleaning your brushes, there's also a right technique. So you're gonna dip it in your water, swish it around, tap it, and then on your piece of paper, you're just gonna go from top to bottom, turn the brush around, top to bottom, and that should take off all the water. So for this assignment, what I want you to do is create any kind of picture you want. It could be a landscape, it could be a self-portrait, it could be um, anything that you really like, family. So you're just gonna use the three different brushes that we use, all the techniques. Remember, hold the brush correctly. So recall when we were doing Andy Warhol's paintings, some of his paintings weren't realistic. For example, we had the cow painting where he made it pink and blue and green. This is your painting. You can do whatever you like. If you wanna do a blue chicken, do a blue chicken. As long as you use the techniques, use your different brushes to create the textures that you need. Remember which brush gives you thicker lines. Remember what brush is easier for you to get a whole surface area if you need more surface area which brushes to use so as you can see this is a painting I did I use all the various brushes I use my so as you can see for this painting I used all the different ones my flat brush I was able to do this big old surface area with my brown brush I was able to do these little skinny lines and these tiny tiny um, trees that we have in the back and with the fan brush I was able to get all this texture in the background so I went ahead and used all my three brushes that we taught I did all the techniques I put texture I put colors I used different lines different colors um so for our ending result what we're gonna ask so recall for this lesson what were the three brushes that we used um, what was the purpose for each of this brush and when you were painting were all the strokes the same just recall all the strategies that we use how to handle your brush the correct way to hold a brush the correct way to wash a brush